I wish I could say there was a magic pill you could just take to regrow your hair, but there's a couple aspects about this that uh, you need to understand, especially as it relates to your foods and your diet. Ever stood before the mirror wishing you had denser hair? Hair loss can sometimes feel like a war we can never possibly win. What if someone told you that hair regrowth was possible without expensive treatments or harsh chemicals? What if you knew of a completely natural science-based approach to managing hair loss and stimulating healthy hair growth? Well, in today's video, we are going to take a look at proven strategies by Dr. Eric Berg on how to regrow your hair naturally. Dr. Eric Berg is a health guru focusing on holistic solutions for health and life, including hormonal balance and nutrition. So let's get started. Number one, understanding hair loss. Now, before the treatment, let's understand why one loses his hair. The approach of Dr. Eric Berg towards hair regeneration starts with identifying and solving the root causes of hair loss. This understanding is necessary before the proper solutions. According to Dr. Berg, there are three primary reasons why people suffer hair loss. Stress, dietary deficiencies, and hormonal imbalances. Let's explore them now. Hormonal imbalances. Hormones are considered one of the significant aspects of hair growth. In particular, these hormones include the thyroid and the adrenal hormones that help keep a person's scalp healthy and will maintain and encourage hair follicle activities. An imbalance in these hormones triggers thinning of hair or loss of them. According to Dr. Berg, insulin resistance and a high level of cortisol from stress can disrupt the hair cycle. Disruption in proper growth of hair is also caused by consistently high levels of insulin. Besides this, thyroid imbalance, especially hypothyroidism or underactive thyroid, has a close relation with hair loss. According to him, the prevention of hair falling out begins with focusing on restoring the right hormone function. Dietary deficiencies. Vitamins and minerals are the essentials that give your tresses that stronger, healthy-looking look, and if you're deficient in them, you can suffer from hair loss. Among the essentials are vitamin B7, also known as biotin, vitamin D, zinc, and iron. Biotin, which is also called the hair vitamin, stimulates hair growth, and Dr. Berg believes that is the key to regrowing hair. Zinc and iron are the other essentials that facilitate protein synthesis and infuse follicles with oxygen to support hair development. Stress and cortisol. Stress is also another significant contributor to hair loss. A lot of people go through too much stress and they end up with alopecia, autoimmune diseases, and just general hair loss. Why is this? Because cortisol is a catabolic hormone. It breaks things down and stress activates cortisol. Our bodies were not designed to have this sustained high level of cortisol. This is because when your body starts initiating the fight or flight mode in reaction to stress, it automatically releases the hormone cortisol into the bloodstream which disrupts the normal cycle of hair growth. High levels of this hormone for such a long time will force your hair follicles to the early shedding phase, which is called telogen effluvium. It's not just about psychological health. Managing your stress also helps you achieve healthy hair growth. Number two, nutrients for healthy hair growth. The first fundamental suggestion Dr. Berg gives on stimulating natural hair growth is to take care of vital nutrients that your hair needs to thrive. Let us look at the top nutrients Dr. Berg recommends. Biotin, vitamin B7. The most known nutrient connected to hair development is probably biotin. According to Dr. Berg, this vitamin is a must for the production of keratin for good hair. When biotin is deficient, it leads to brittle hair and hair loss. To combat that, consume biotin-rich foods like eggs, nuts, and seeds. Zinc and iron. Zinc and iron are vital components contributing to hair growth. Zinc plays a crucial role in the synthesis of protein, which is fundamental in producing keratin. Iron is also essential in ensuring that oxygen reaches hair follicles for effective hair growth. According to Dr. Berg, zinc deficiency has a primary link to hair loss, and iron intake can cause a flow of blood towards the scalp to stimulate hair growth. Vitamin D. The first question is, are there any vitamin D genes associated to hair or hair loss? One thing you need to know about vitamin D, vitamin D is not really a vitamin, it's a 
hormone and it's involved in 10% of our genes. So we have like 25,000 genes. So that means it's involved with 2,500 different genes. And there just so happens to be several really important genes that if you don't have enough vitamin D, that gene will not get triggered to allow this growing process to occur. Vitamin D is an extremely important nutrient required for our overall well-being. It boosts immunity, maintains healthy skin and bone strength, causes cell growth stimulation, and allows for the growth of newly developed hair follicles. Sun exposure can help you absorb most of your vitamin D. However, you also can complement this through vitamin D intake by dietary supplements or nutrients. Number 3. Diet for Healthy Hair Dr. Berg firmly believes that in order to stimulate hair growth, it is essential to consume nutrient-rich food. So, what food should you be consuming? Good fats. He also promotes the intake of healthy fat that enables the body to absorb fat-soluble vitamins A, D, E, and K, which are crucial in keeping the hair well. Good fats are derived mainly from seeds, vegetables, nuts, and fish. Proteins. Your hair is just made up of keratin that is produced by hair follicles in your scalp. It is the basic building structure for hair cells, and if it is short, it leads to hair growing weak and breaking easily. Dr. Berg says that you should take eggs and fish, chicken and lean meats to ensure that your body will be provided with the building blocks needed for the regeneration of hair. Intake of protein-rich food will strengthen your hair follicles. Low sugar, low carb diet. According to Dr. Berg, the diet must be low in carbs and sugar, otherwise it could lead to insulin resistance. It may even halt normal hair growth cycles. Reduced sugar intake can cause positive changes as far as hair growth is concerned by reducing insulin sensitivity. Number 4. Intermittent Fasting for Hair Health Dr. Berg recommends the term intermittent fasting, during which the individual goes back and forth through cycles of eating and fasting. This will lower the level of insulin and total inflammation, both of which act to help facilitate the betterment of the hair's health. Intermittent fasting will help recapture balance within your body's hormonal environment by getting rid of massive spikes of insulin caused by constant eating. Intermittent fasting lowers chronic inflammation and can be harmful to hair growth. Number 5. Natural Remedies Other than diet changes and fasting, Dr. Berg recommends other natural remedies to help hair regrow such as apple cider vinegar rinse. Dr. Berg believes the scalp pH would be balanced with an apple cider vinegar rinse. This treatment can reduce bacteria and dandruff, both of which disrupt hair growth. Apple cider vinegar also helps clear up the hair follicle. Hair growth is encouraged by better circulation and regeneration of hair. Essential oils for scalp health. Besides that, Dr. Berg also prescribes essential oils like rosemary oil and lavender oil. Applying these to the scalp by massaging can stimulate blood flow into hair follicles, thus nourishing and promoting hair growth. Several studies have demonstrated an association of rosemary oil with increases in hair thickness and growth. Number 6. Controlling Stress for Healthy Hair Cortisol is a stress hormone released by the adrenal glands which respond and adapt to stress. When you're subjected to too much stress, your body is destructive to proteins. You will break down the proteins into sugar and use them as fuel. It's very important to have normal cortisol levels as if they are too low. It can also cause hair loss. Given the role of cortisol in causing hair loss, Dr. Berg then calls for stress management generally to maintain hair health. Elevated levels of cortisol appear to shorten the hair growth phase and therefore could explain early hair shedding. Do stress-reducing activities such as deep breathing, yoga, or meditation to lower cortisol and help keep the hair cycle healthy. Number 7. Avoid the use of strong chemicals in hair dye. Ammonia is a white crystalline powder used in hair lightening products and dyes. Since ammonia is an alkaline base, it opens the cuticles of hair shafts, creating entry sites for dye molecules to color the hair strands. Avoid products containing it as much as possible to reduce the damage. Parabens are a preservative that is known to have been documented to be among some of the causes of disruption in the balance of hormones. So, make a conscious effort to avoid them and look for products that do not contain parabens. Another chemical in permanent hair dyes is p-phenylenediamine, which is a contact allergen and irritant. 
When possible, look for less or no PPD containing dyes, and prefer hair dyes that are made from natural pigment extracts, such as henna, which is highly unlikely to cause allergic reactions. Number 8. Role of Histidine in Hair Health Let's talk about histidine, which is an amino acid that is not just another ingredient added to your shampoo, but the holy grail for healthy and strong locks. Histidine does more than you can think of. It fights allergies like a champion, dials inflammation, and accelerates healing processes. It's like your body's quiet guardian angel, tirelessly ensuring everything works perfectly behind the scenes without any recognition. This is where it gets exciting for our hair. Histidine is a key player in keratin production, which is the essential protein for our hair. Without enough histidine, keratin can't effectively strengthen and hydrate our strands, leaving them weaker and drier. Number 9. Sulfate-free shampoos. These are found in most shampoos sold in the market today, and they are effective as they produce that satisfying foamy lather. But at what cost? Sulfates tend to strip off the natural oils your scalp produces to moisturize and protect it. This stripping causes dryness, brittleness, and breakage in hair, especially in those people who have naturally curly, wavy, or color-treated locks, because they tend to be more sensitive to such ingredients. Sulfate-free shampoos actually preserve healthy and hydrated hair as they gently cleanse rather than compromise the natural moisture in your hair. The proper approach ensures that regrowing your hair naturally becomes entirely possible. All of the underlying causes for hair loss, like hormonal imbalances and nutritional deficiencies, as well as stress, have to be attended to. This is how you increase your chances of having thick, healthy hair again. The strategies that Dr. Eric Berg proposes are restoration of hormone balances, nutrient-dense food, managing the body under stress, an introduction of natural solutions like apple cider vinegar and essential oils. It is important to note that hair growth is a slow process, and proper work needs to be done to improve the outcome. So, with patience and along with the right diet and proper lifestyle modification, you are fully in control of your hair health and can attain the results you want. Thanks for watching, and if you have learned something of value in this video, do not forget to click that like button and subscribe for some more health tips. If you have any questions or a personal experience you wish to share, do not hesitate to comment below. We would love to hear from you. And remember, the secret to natural hair growth is very much in your hands, so start today.